As we told you in episode 17, there were some really strong winds, so we had to wait a few days until we can continue from Martinique to Dominica. Finally, we managed to do the crossing between the islands, and as you can see, it was still a pretty rough sea. <laughs> Five hours later, we arrived at Dominica and got a really nice welcome from a man called Mr. Bean and his colleague. For your GoPro. For the oh, GoPro. For the, yeah. <laughs> if you want to go look closer to the shore so you can see. Oh yeah, perfect. We wanted to see as much as possible at the island, so we booked a tour with Mr. Bean. The next day, after clearing into the country, we went into shore and got picked up by the man Sea Cat. Uh, this is grown on the island, right? It's called Grenadilla. Yeah. Oh. Dominica was one of the islands that got hit hardest in the last hurricanes, and we will tell you more about that later. However, some people told us that it could be unsafe and too ruined to go there, but we think it was a really good decision to stay at Dominica. The people were wonderful, the island was beautiful, and since it's one of the islands that got ruined badly, we think they really need us tourists the most. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And the house is uh, people restoring? In well, restoring is slowly. It's a uh, slow process. Some people have got insurance, some people have get insurance, some people yeah. and so on. So the process of uh, rebuilding. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, nobody's suffering right now, right? Nobody's suffering right now. Yeah, it's fine. Some people still, I wouldn't say not suffering right now because some people still have a lot of tap on it. Along the tour, Seacat jumped out of the car from time to time and got us different things to taste. This time he went for some watercress. Tomorrow I go to the... on a long hike. This is your shield. Okay. I'm gonna get mine, you know what I mean? That's good. When we came up in the mountains, there was a beautiful lake, and we put our hiking shoes on and started walking around it. Okay. Hmm. So it, it takes itself out on the trees, whereas the other one you have to grow it. This one is wild. So before it was all green here. All was green. It? Yeah. Yeah, far, far, Yeah. You don't see that far, you know? Yeah. You could not see the lake. Okay, it was that green. No, 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 you could not see the lake. No, 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 Four thousand meters. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> wow.
After the walk we continue to a place called Tito George. Here we started to swim through a cave and then we ended up at a waterfall. The water was pretty cold and there was some current but we really loved this place. It was so special and beautiful and we were lucky enough to be there all alone. Yes, I'm coming. Okay. Swim up on it. Another place we visited was the wonderful Trafalgar Falls. There were two falls, they call them the Mother and the Father Falls. Seekat asked us if we wanted to go and take a swim in one of the falls and me and Oscar wanted to go to the left one, which was the Father Fall. Så du blir ju jävligt sketen att gå igenom där då. Nej då. Tack. Har vi en trull? Är du Ja. Ska du få väska? Nej, jag tar den. Jag går över den då. Once up there, there was some water pouring out of the mountain. The water was hot, we guess like 40 degrees, and came from some warm mineral springs. Go. It was lovely just to sit there for a while. The big waterfall on the other hand was freezing cold, especially in comparison. It is possible to walk all the way up to the big waterfall. We did that, but we left our cameras at this point. Det är det vi känner, vet du, det är skogen. Det är fantastiskt sätt, va? Vill du tillägga något, pappa? Otroligt. 
<lacht> ja. Ja. Vill du tillägga något på mig? Gillar du blommorna? Thank you very much. Good thing that you stopped, man. I'm happy that you made the trip so you can tell everybody else. Bye. Så vi åker in till land och går på någon lokal eller nåt, då kan vi komma tillbaka i... Ja, det är lite tråkigt när den går ut, så får den skylla sig själv. Ja. Mm. Vill du inte? Mm. Ja, jag brukar vinna alltså. Jag, är... jag vann. Just det. För en gångs skull. Hur då? Men fusko? Nej. Va? Det var du som fusko. Ja. <laughs> Vad sa jag? Har du vet vilka tokiga du har? Jag vet inte så här. Han sa ju. Åh oh, herregud. The next morning our plan was to go north, but Mr. Bean had some trouble with the engine, so Oscar took our dinghy and tried to help. Hej hej! Hej hej! Hur snäll! De är nog tacksamma. Ja. A while later he came back and they have managed to fix the engine together. From our anchorage we were stunned by the devastation that the hurricanes caused five months earlier. Many rooftops were gone and all the bridges and pontoons were vanished. The beaches were full of rubbish and all the hotels on the island were closed. Sika told us that many residents left the island after the hurricane. Those who were left working hard to restore the houses. Within a few years the island is certainly restored. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked it please give us a thumbs up and a special thanks to our patron that made this video making possible. Yeah, and if you want to support our video making by becoming a Patreon, just follow the link below. It would really mean a lot to us. And uh, see you next time.